right, welcome everyone. Uh, I've been getting a lot of emails, or at least an increased number of emails, uh, because we have this Lab 4 project that's due tomorrow at the beginning of recitation. Uh, and I found that, right, sometimes responding to emails with words and whatnot is fine and everything, but uh, I really like it when I can actually look at and see exactly what uh, you know, someone's talking about. So I thought I'd make this quick video just so that way uh, hopefully I can make it a bit more clear about what exactly is due tomorrow at the beginning of recitation. And so here we are on our Math 101 website, right? And, and this is, uh, again, just the Lab 4 part. It's, uh, it's a part of a bigger writing project. But we're going to go down here, and hopefully you already got one of these uh, if you could make it to class, right? It's this pink sheet. Uh, but it's also available here, right, in case if you couldn't make it to class for whatever reason, uh, you'd be responsible for printing this out. And, and this is the thing that you need to turn in at the beginning uh, of the recitation uh, on Thursday. And so reading through this, I mean, there is a focus question. And this kind of talks about what the writing project is about and kind of a, a bigger overview of this. Right. Uh, again, our writing project overall is trying to rank country happiness, right? What does it mean for citizens of a country to be happy, right? Uh, this is a, just a space for TA feedback and whatnot, so you're not going to use anything here. The big thing is that you need to fill out this table. So this is really what you're turning in, is this table right here should be all filled in. So you don't have to worry about any of this stuff here, right? You should read through it and just so you understand a little bit more what the writing project's about. But you don't need to write anything. I mean, uh, your name and section, that's good. But nothing down here. This is a spot for the TA feedback. Uh, and then down here, right, this is, again, where you really need to put in the bulk of the work, right? So, again, the writing project, you need to choose five metrics. So that's where you have these five spaces right here to choose what metrics you're going to use. You have to assign weights to them and say whether they're generally a good thing or a bad thing, right? So we had plenty of examples in class. So, for instance, like deaths from malaria. Right? So if you have uh, more deaths from malaria, if that's a bigger number, right, you would probably say people are less happy. So we're going to call this a negative. Right? And we're gonna, when we eventually do some calculations and whatnot, you're going to want to count this negatively. Right? Because the bigger the number, kind of the less happy you are. So this should bring it down. Uh, on the other hand, right, you could argue that like income. Right? So the more income you have, maybe this is a positive influence on uh, you know, a country's happiness. You should say which website you used whether it's a relative or absolute metric. And right, if it's an absolute metric, how are you going to refine it? So there's a lot of vocab going on here, right, that we brought up in class. And so this is another good kind of general plug, right? So anytime, uh, I mean, especially because I know sometimes we go fast through these things or, and you don't take the perfect notes necessarily, right? We do post the kind of blank lecture uh, notes here on our course website. So we could go back to lecture four here, for instance. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And this has the slideshow that we used. And so, for instance, maybe uh, I, I'm a little bit hesitant or confused about what metric means. So I like, uh, you can do like Control F, I know, is like uh, for find. And, and so I could start typing metric here. And, and so this kind of gives you the ability to find within a page. I think also if maybe in my browser I click over here uh, and there's like find. So that's what I'm doing, the Control F here. So this is very nice. Uh, and it's a, in a lot of browsers. But anyway, you can see that it brought up that there's 15 times that the word metric came up, right? And here's the first one. And kind of it brings us to the right slide. I guess slide 21 has our key vocab of what is a metric. And basically, that's a, a category, something that we're going to choose and say, OK, this is something that I believe would influence one's happiness, right? So these are the categories, essentially, that you're choosing. Uh, and that's what these five spaces are for, right, for your five metrics. All right. Uh, there was also that bit, uh, right, you have to talk about if it's an absolute or a relative variable. So again, here's kind of the definitions of these. And the big thing here, absolute variables account, uh, sorry, absolute variables do not account for the size of the country when relative variables do. So we have a little example about like deaths from malaria or if you use deaths from malaria per 1,000 people. And so I've had a few people in my office hours and, uh, you know, I say like you can have two countries where both of them, they have maybe 100 deaths from malaria, right? And so if you're just looking at the absolute variable, you say, ah, well, then they're going to be somehow these are like equal, right, in terms of their country, uh, maybe happiness, right? So, okay, 100 deaths from malaria. But then if I tell you, well, country A, 
only has 500 people and country B has 5 million people, right? All of a sudden you say, wow, 100 out of 500 people died from malaria. That's a lot, right? So kind of these relatives are more or less like you can think of it somehow in terms of like percentages, right? You're trying to turn this somehow into a number that takes into account the population size. So 100 out of uh, again, 500 is rather alarming. That's a very high percentage. When if you said 100 out of 5 million, you'd say, okay, well, that's not so many, all things considered. So again, absolute variables, that's just when if I said 100 deaths from malaria, right? And it doesn't take into account how many people live in that country. When relative variables, right, this sums up, this takes into account. And so when you go and you look up these metrics, uh, one of the common ones is like per 1,000 people. Okay, so that's kind of a, a general overview and definitely I recommend kind of, uh, this is just one slide, you should reread kind of through all these things. For instance, right, when we're doing the weights, right, there's this uh, column here about weights. So it's important that, right, your weights should add up to 100%. So you have five spots here, right, for the five different metrics and you should have five different weights, right? And so maybe there are things that you would say, okay, these really influence the happiness of a country, and so I'm gonna weight them a little bit more. And maybe there's other metrics that you say, okay, this kind of influences happiness, but maybe not as much. So you can weight those less. Remember in the end goal, right, you're gonna to have to look up uh, these for like all of the countries. Uh, and right in, in your writing project, you're gonna to have to specify why you chose the weights that you did. But for right now, the only thing that's due is metrics, weights, whether you're gonna count these things positively or negatively, again, if that's a good thing or a bad thing, and then which website you used, and again, this bit about absolute or relative uh, variables, right, or metrics. So again, kind of going back here, these are the absolute and the relative variables. Now, uh, the question is, well, where do these metrics come from, right? How can I choose these five metrics? And, and right, we have a couple of different websites, and that's kind of why we want you to specify which website you used. So there's a couple different uh, websites that you can use, this Gapminder or the CIA World Factbook. Uh, I've been using Gapminder quite a bit here recently. I, I really like the layout and whatnot, so I'd recommend maybe starting with that. And so I already have Gapminder loaded here. You can see it's gapminder.org, and this is what the kind of home screen looks like. And we're interested in getting some data. So we're gonna go over here to data. Let it load here for a second. And you can see there are lots and lots of things to choose from. Right, and in fact, so, oops, apparently something loaded down here at the bottom. Um, let's go ahead and zoom back up really quick. So this is just 25 indicators right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and maybe select all, right? And you can really see how much data you have to choose from. So you can see this goes on for a while. Here's all the A's, here's all the B's, right? Any of these, maybe you could argue would be a fine metric for happiness, right? So even you could say coal consumption total. Right, so sort of deal. Maybe you could say that if a country uses more coal, maybe that makes them happier, or maybe it makes them unhappier. Right? Again, this is kind of where you get to argue a little bit um, about this. And, and with this total uh, coal consumption, right, this is going to be an absolute variable or an absolute metric. So you'd have to somehow maybe you want coal consumption per person. Right? That's maybe a little bit friendlier uh, and treats kind of countries of different sizes more fairly. Um, but you can see all sorts of things. Different types of cancers are on here, different types of deaths, all that sort of stuff. Um, so you can see some education stuff, uh, some electricity, energy stuff, right? So there are lots and lots of different metrics that you could go ahead and use. I just saw some stuff about GDP per capita, right? That's kind of a, uh, a famous one there. <laughs> how far to the north, right? That's kind of a, a, maybe a silly one to choose, but maybe you could argue like farther to the north or is maybe less happy or something like this, right? The colder it gets or something like this. I probably wouldn't pick that one, but you can see that there's lots and lots to choose from, right? And eventually we're gonna go in and get this data for the countries, right? So I guess here's hydroelectric um, electricity production total, right? And so eventually we're gonna go in and we're gonna wanna get the data for these countries and so you could download kind of the data here and I'll just show you kind of in general what this looks like really quick. So you can see here's a bunch of different countries, a bunch of different years, right? And then we have our numbers, right? But for right now, again, we don't really necessarily even want that yet, 
right? We don't care about the data for specific countries because lab four, right? We're not collecting that data for the specific countries yet. We just need to know what data is available, right? Pick five of them, pick five of the, the data categories, five of these metrics, and then decide, right, uh, which weights you want to give to these things. And then in the website, right, uh, I've been using Gapminder a lot, so I would write Gapminder, right? And then again, whether it's relative or absolute, that's kind of going back to this thing right here, whether it takes into account uh, the population size of a country or not. And then, right, if it doesn't take into, right, the uh, population size of the country, if it's an absolute variable, then maybe that's not very fair to large countries, right? So you want to know, how are you going to make it fair? That's basically saying, right, how will you refine the metric if it's absolute? How will you make it fair between the countries? So again, this is what you're going to print off, uh, or if it's the pink sheet, if you already, uh, if you came to the lesson on Tuesday. And then, of course, this is where you're going to get your score and all that sort of stuff. So you don't fill this part in. You're just interested in filling in this table. So again, the main thing, fill in this table, choose five uh, categories or five metrics that you want to use um, in your um, happiness rating, right? And kind of what weights you want to choose, okay? So that's the big thing, and I hope that this video has helped quite a lot. Again, this is the only thing that you need to turn into recitation this week, Thursday. But uh, let me go back here. If you are interested in kind of a bigger overview of the writing project, right? This is where you get the Excel file and can actually see which countries you're going to eventually collect data for. Again, you don't need to do that right now. This is also the writing project rubric. Again, eventually you're going to write 500 to 700 words and you're going to do like a little article sort of deal. Again, that's not due yet. So again, the big thing is just make sure that you have this lab four all ready to turn in at the beginning of recitation. And likewise, uh, here's kind of the lecture four. This is what I was looking at as far as metrics and all that sort of stuff. But if you miss any class or right, or if you need just a, a review, if you want to write a few more things down in your notes, right, we also post each week, right? You can see the lecture three stuff. You can see the lecture five stuff, right? So they're all available. But this is the stuff about rankings, which uh, kind of directly influences this writing project. All right, again, I hope this has been uh, useful. If you have any questions, feel free to email either myself or Professor Lund. But hopefully with this, uh, you'll be a bit more confident about what you need to turn in in tomorrow's recitation. All right, thank you very much. I'll see you next week.